Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about similarity in right triangles. Alright, so um, kind of the rule of thumb here is that in a right triangle, if we draw the altitude, which goes from the vertex um, perpendicular to the opposite side, if we draw it to the hypotenuse specifically, then we form three similar right triangles. So here, it's a little easier to do this problem if we separate the triangles. So we have three triangles, and I'll outline them here so you can really see. So here's one right triangle with my right angle here. And then here's another right triangle with my right angle there. And the third right triangle is the large overlapping one with my right angle there. So we have three right triangles and they happen to all be similar in this case. So uh, the best thing to do is to separate the triangles when we're solving problems like this. And it takes a little bit of practice to get used to. And really you want to label them. So let's start with, and I always um, orient my triangles the same direction. So I've got three triangles like this. And I try to make it look, and I'll, I'll change actually my, my last two. I try to make it look like one side is longer than the other one when I'm drawing my triangles because it's easier to think about which sides match if we think about which one's shorter, which one's longer, which one's the hypotenuse. All right, so let's look at, oh, I don't know, the large triangle first. It's easiest to figure out. So we've got R, Q, and T. So that's our large triangle. Um, if we look, we've got, um, you know what? Q, T is the longer side, so I'm going to switch that and make QT this way, and then R this direction. Because I've kind of oriented my triangles where the long side is the, the taller, the vertical side, and my horizontal one is the short one. And you can do it however you want, but that's just how I drew it. All right, so now let's do the smallest triangle, the little blue one. If you notice, S is the right angle. So I'm gonna put S here, and then we wanna look at which side is shortest and longest. So we have SR and SQ, and if you look, it looks like SR is the shorter one, and SQ is the long one. So here I have this as the long side of the small triangle, and the cool thing about SQ, because it's part of the medium triangle as well, it can never be the long side of both. So if it's the long side of the smaller triangle, it has to be the short side of the medium triangle. So that kind of helps me out. I'm going to have S here. SQ is going to be my short side now. And then ST is my long side. So there are my three triangles oriented the same direction so I can see which sides correspond to each other easily. Okay, so let's look at an application of this. It, again, takes a little bit of practice to get good at drawing these. So I'm going to have, again, if I look at this one, I'm going to have short side or long side. Uh, if I look at this, it actually looks like the long side of this one and the short side of this one. So that will help out. So if that's long, this is short, this is hypotenuse, this is short, this is long, this is hypotenuse, and then we have the large one, which, um, well, it's usually a little obvious, a little bit more obvious. The shorter side is right next to the smaller triangle, so this is going to look like this. All right, so let's get started. We've got three triangles. Again, I'm making one side obviously longer than the other just to help me visualize which ones correspond. So if we do our large triangle first, ooh, and I don't have any letters here. Let's add some letters. Let's do A, B, C, and D. It always helps to have letters and I know that there's so many things going on here so I'm going to color code there we go all right so let's see we have B is my right angle for my large triangle and then C seems to be my shorter side and B A is my longer side all right then we look at our small triangle we have D 
is the right angle. DC is my shorter side and DB is my longer side. All right, and then we have our medium triangle. Again, D is the right angle. Always start with the right angle, it makes it easier. All right, and then DB is my shorter side, which really helped when I was, when I was looking at that shared side DB. I figured it was longer for one, so it has to be the shorter side for the other. It can't correspond to itself. So DB there, and then AD is my long side. Now let's fill in the pieces of information that we have. So I know that, let's see, BC is Y. All right, and then I know that BD is X, so that's gonna go here and here. We'll figure this out in a second. All right, AD is 40, that's gonna go there, and AC is 60. Okay, and then let's see. Well, oh, I know if that's 60 and that's 40, then DC has to be 20 using my subtraction. All right, so now what we wanna do, once we have all of our information on our graph, we wanna look at which two triangles have matching corresponding parts. So if we look, the large triangle, we have the hypotenuse, but I don't have the hypotenuse for the other two. So I'm going to use these two triangles to make my proportion and solve for X. So I'm going to use the corresponding sides just like we practiced in the last video. So I have X over 40 equals 20 over X. So I use my corresponding pieces. Then I'm going to cross multiply. X times X is X squared. 40 times 20 is 800. And then to solve for x, we square root. And let's see, I've got the square root of 400 times the square root of 2. And the square root of 400 is 20 root 2. And there's my x value. All right, so now let's look at the second example. So it's similar to the first one. We've got, oops. Hold on, we didn't solve for y. I'm sorry. Okay, so we solved for x. We have to remember to finish the whole problem. Get excited sometimes. Okay, so once we solve for x and we get 20 root two, then we want to solve for y. So let's plug that in. 20 root two. And to solve for y, y is a hypotenuse um, B, C, so that can go here, and so, you know what, I can, I can use these two triangles here to solve for Y, because Y was B, C, so I can set this up as 60 over Y equals Y over 20. So again, setting up my proportion for my corresponding sides, y squared is 60 times 20, which is 1,200. All right, so then take our square root, and the square root of 1,200 is, let's see, 10 times 2, which is 20, times the square root of 3. Okay, so we've got x is 20 root 2, and y is 20 root 3. Okay, so let's do the next example. So again, we'll try to do this a little faster. We have two triangles and it kind of looks like it's hard to tell which one's shorter or longer. So you know what? Even though we're going to kind of distort this figure, sometimes it's easier visually to change the shape of our triangle and then put all the pieces back where they go. Because in a triangle, like what I've just drawn, it's a little easier to see which sides are shorter and longer. And I know that it doesn't really make much sense anymore to have this both be five, but it's gonna help us orient our proportions. So I'm going to do that and A, B, C, and D. Okay, so let's draw our three triangles. We wanna separate the three triangles. And figure out our letters. So our large triangle, we have B, 
A and C. Our medium triangle, we have short side here, long side here, and our right angle is at D. So DA is my short side and DB is my long side. And then on my smaller triangle, again, if DA was my short side for the medium triangle, it has to be the long side of the smaller one. It can't be the short side for both. So here we've got DA is the long side and DC is going to be our short side. All right, and then let's plug in all of our information. So let's start with the large triangle. We have X here and 10 as our hypotenuse. Our medium triangle, BD is five and DA is Y. All right, and then for our smallest triangle, DC is five, AC is X, and AD is Y. So now we wanna pick two triangles that'll help us find our proportions. And let's do X first. So X is, um, well, if we look at X from the first triangle, X is AC, which technically corresponds to Y and to five. But we also have from that triangle, the hypotenuse, which is 10, which only corresponds to AC, which is X. So we only wanna use those two triangles so we're using these two here in order to set up our proportions. So we have x over five, because those correspond to each other, and 10 over x, and cross multiply, x squared equals 50, and simplify, x equals five root two. All right, and then let's solve for y. So now we're gonna take these two triangles, y, and y, all right, so we've got y over five equals, now be careful, five over y. We don't want y over five equals y over five, or we'll end up with, well, nothing useful. All right, y squared equals 25, so y has to be five. All right, and there are those examples. Again, they're a little, little tough, uh, these types of problems, so they just take a bunch of practice. Uh, well, that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.